What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video finds you well. First exploration of 2023. This is February 4th. We are headed to a little town called Carthage, Tennessee to start our adventure. Um, where I'm headed to today is a lake that was formed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It is a generating lake, so that means there's a dam with a power generator there that, you know, they generate power. This dam and uh, lake was formed and started in 1963, finished in 1973, and is named after a Tennessee statesman. He was a member of the Tennessee State House of Representatives. Then he went on to be a member of the United States House of Representatives for the state of Tennessee. And the lake is called Cordell Hall. Um, there's two major campgrounds on it. There are both U.S. Army Corps of Engineers campgrounds. Hey, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, open your campgrounds up sooner or year-round. We can camp in either. Either way, anyway, uh, most of your core, most of your core uh, campgrounds are usually run like I think it's April or May through November, something like that, or end of October. So there's three or four months that they're closed down because of the winter. They think people don't camp in the winter too. I, well, I don't like I used to, but anyway. <laughs> We're going to go explore the lake today. Um, going to try to hit both campgrounds. Uh, I've got my Gaia with me. I've got everything with me as far as tech. I don't have a whole lot of food with me because I don't plan on being gone very long. Uh, it's only about I think, well, a 45 minute drive. Actually, it says only have 36 minutes left to get there. But uh, we're going to see some sights, take some pictures, do some videoing. And all that good stuff. Um, I got some pretty cool videos going to be coming out after this one. I've got some new gear for the camping season that we've got to try out. Probably, and I'm, that's what I'm scratching my head, is my first camping trip of the year. And I may keep it pretty local because I'm going to be testing some new gear. Of course, we'll test it at the house before we actually head out. Um, but I've made some major changes for the year and um, I have another announcement coming in a couple of weeks um, I've been hinting around about it but all I'm gonna say is for right now I keep May 12th through the 14th docked on your calendars is something big's happening and going on that you might want to come to so with that said I'm gonna stop right now we're gonna get up here to uh, Cordell Hall Lake and we're going to get started. See you in a little bit. Three, two, one. All right, guys. So we've come to our first glimpse of Cordell Hall Lake. Pretty amazing. I do say so myself. A couple of these trees were knocked down. It looked even better. Uh, there is a way to go up there and really see it. But you know how my walking is, so... I ain't going up there, but I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, let you see this. All right, guys, so there's our last look at, uh, well, not our last look, our first look at uh, Cordell Hall Lake. It's beautiful. It is beautiful from here. I can just imagine snow on it. I can imagine leaves turning the whole nine yards. I mean, it's just gorgeous back there. Let's take one last glimpse at this. It's beautiful. All right, well, back. All right, I'm going to get you a little road footage as we're going along. This is a beautiful drive through here. Um, I can just imagine this in the fall or dead spring or 
even been a summer, it'd just be solid green. You wouldn't be able to see the river though, and the river is just to the right of me. Um, lake, river, it's all the same. Because um, it is part of the Cumberland River. They dam it up just to get electricity out of it. Man, this is a, <laughs> this is a fun little road. Um, anyway, um, that was a beautiful overlook up there. And I went up higher, caught a couple more pictures uh, from the walkway. And you can actually see the dam in this picture right here. So, anyway, we're headed to Defeated Creek. Hopefully we're not defeated when we get there. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> so, we'll see in a little bit. Okay, we're down here at Defeated Creek Park. Um, <laughs> a lot lower than... Continue Marina Lane for one and a half miles. Okay. We're a lot lower down than we were a few minutes ago, that's for sure. Um, pretty, uh, pretty crazy how high up we were compared to what we are now. I don't expect us to be able to get to the campground itself, I don't think. Um, because they're closed, the campground itself is, but we might be able to get a look at, looky see at uh, what kind of accommodations they have here. Usually these campgrounds are not much. Um, you have a place to put a trailer, a tent, whatever. Then you have um, your place for an RV, whatever you're camping in, day use area. And got some picnic tables and stuff down there. But um, usually the campgrounds, you know, are pretty basic. They're not going to be anything too um, dramatic, shall we say. But uh, not like the state parks or national parks. Well, you national, some of your national parks are pretty basic as far as the campgrounds go. And that's what I expect to see here. Uh, so we'll take a look at it when we get there. Well, as, as, as suspected, that was easy to say, wasn't it? Um, the campground themselves are closed. You can't get in there to look. But they've got these cabins sitting here too, which back up to the le river, lake, I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting the campgrounds themselves to be open um, just wasn't was not expecting it at all got a little cafe here then there's a marina here sitting right there the Feeded Creek Marina pretty neat Some interesting uh, boats back there. But anyway, well, from what I can see from the road, it's your general affair, you know, for a campground. They got a playground, stuff like that for the kids. Um, but you're just going to be camping. I mean, you're not, there's not anything here really to do uh, except for fish. I mean, if you're into fishing, you can fish. Because it looks like a, some of the camp spots on the back side probably has fishing available. Uh, but there's there's one of the main campgrounds right there you can see there's several spots back there that meet up to the lake of course if you wanted to come up here and just go fishing I guess you could park right there and just walk back here and fish with your Tennessee State fishing license but then there was another up here where this one up there's another one right there so they got two sections to camp in. Um, I don't know if we can see it up here or not. Let me see if I can still see them. I was like, oh God, I hope I get to turn in there. But nope. Where'd they go? They've been on up here where I've seen them. There's a bunch of deer standing down there in the campgrounds. Yeah, I may not be able to see. Oh, wait a minute. There they are. See if I can get a good clear view and I can zoom. Yeah, wait a minute. 
let's see I keep getting in between the trees but if you look right down in there right down in there you see the deer standing there's quite a few of them down there in that big grass area let's see if I get up here a little bit more if you can see down there uh, yeah, yeah right there you can see them there they are so anyway um, let me go up here um, up to a spot up here I seen a minute ago we'll check it out all right guys so I'm gonna geez I can't believe I'm doing this I've got time I'm no big rush today um, so even though Salt Lake campground didn't pan out I've got another one that I found on the old Googles I've got my Gaia with me too but I don't want to what's this guy done this guy, hey how's it going I'm not sure what he was doing anyway oh I do know what he's doing he's tracking he's working his dogs anyway um Be park up there. Good lord. I'm gonna try to get my RV up there. Uh okay, let <laughs> get back to focus. So anyway, I've got plenty of time, you know, and I'm just driving some old country back roads for the most part. And very scenic. So the next one I've got scheduled or next one. Turn left. The next one I've got to go to. Indian Creek Campground is what it says. I may look at it again here in just a second before I commit to that. Um, I was hoping, hell, oh, that's taking me back where I came from. Let me look at this again and see what I want to do. Okay. Okay, I turned the camera on because if I this never appears on YouTube, it's because I died. Um, <laughs> we got off the main road because that's what Google told me to do, and we're now on this. I mean, holy crap! <laughs> I've already passed two cars, which you talk about a puckering moment coming up a blind hill. This is one of those situations when I say, you know, take your time. <laughs> um, this is supposed to be coming. Oh my God. This is crazy. This is almost like, um, this reminds me a lot of, um, I went camping down at uh, uh, Miles Tail Landing. It took me onto a road that was very much like this. The next thing I know, I'm back on four lane. And I'm like, what in the hell are you doing, Google? Man, I'm up for I'm up for roads like this. As long as it puts me where I need to go, but these can be kind of dangerous. I mean, you don't want to be hauling tail coming through. I mean, blind curve after blind curve. Holy crap! All right, well, if uh, this comes up on YouTube, you know I made it through this section of road. Okay, so I have found my way to Indian Creek Campground, and it's completely closed off. No, nope, no, nope, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. What does this say? Close for the season, turn around here. Please take deliveries to the next gate. Oh. Well then, I guess we will do what it just said. All right guys, so I'm looking at uh, Gaia. And basically, I'll show you real quick. I made a complete loop of the lake just about. Now, if I wanted to finish the loop, I could go on around and 
end back up in Carthage, but I think what I'm going to do instead of just wasting gas and I mean, I've seen some pretty sights. I've seen some pretty area, but this is turning into kind of a bust as far as what I really wanted to achieve today. Um, I know I can't do any serious back road stuff, old dirt roads, because it could be nothing but mud right now. Um, so what I think I'm going to do after looking at Gaia, I'm going to call it here and now, or for now. Um, I mean, I can work my way back around to, like I said, to Carthage, Tennessee, but I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think it, I'm going to get anything out of it, any more out of it. Um, sometimes that's the way it goes. You know, you try this and you think maybe I'll find something really cool or find something that, you know, for future or whatever. And today is not the day. Today is not the day, but I have explored this area. I've explored Cordell Hall, and I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, Cordell Hall Lake, which is actually part of the Mississippi, or Mississippi, Cumberland River system. Um, but I've basically been all the way around it. I mean, like I said, I've probably got another 20 miles and I would hit the whole thing. Um, but do I think there's anything else here for the future? Yeah, some possible camping at some of the campgrounds at some point, maybe, or at least, you know, the campgrounds are here. That's just like this one, Indian Creek. I think that's what it's called is Indian Creek campgrounds. Yeah. Granville Recreation Area, Indian Creek Campground. So I didn't actually get into it. Because you can't. Um, oh, okay. That's where that road goes. Nowhere. <laughs> There's a road back right there. There's a gate. And it looks like a little picnic pavilion you could go down to if you wanted to. But it's got blocked off right now. So, with all that jibber-jabber and all that good stuff, guys, I'm calling this one. I'm going to set a course for back home. Because I got some videos there that I need to shoot when I get back. Um, of all the new gear going in the back of the truck for this year, I'm replacing three major components that I've used for the last three years. One of those you've kind of seen the teaser on. The other one, probably going to do a teaser on it here pretty soon. But uh, that's it for this one. I'm going to drive back through these mud poles pretty hard so that way it looks like I've actually done something today. <laughs> that's what we do. But uh, this is a pretty neat, this is a pretty area right here. It's real quiet. You're off the main highway. So, although there's been two vehicles come through here since I've been here. That's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, sorry, couldn't be a little bit more. We're just exploring today. It's a cool day. It's actually 47 degrees. It warmed up from a nice 21 degrees this morning when I got up. Thanks for watching, guys. Be prepared. See you on the next one.